All right, well, it is uh, prep time for Car Week. Uh, if you're not aware, Monterey Car Week is this coming weekend. I just actually kicked off, I believe, yesterday, uh, downtown Carmel. But uh, I'll be going down later this week. And so I've been trying to wipe down the car. I was going to do a full wash, but it doesn't really need it. And uh, some other stuff going on today. So we'll see. I might end up taking off the wheels. And I, I tend to go kind of crazy usually for Car Week, trying to detail the car. But uh, we'll find out. But right now, I've just been doing the outside and uh, I'll show you the inside. You can see I had the uh, car cover on for a little bit. Um, just working on the inside now. But uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna have some fun down in Carmel. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you wanna see some specific Car Week stuff, um, put me, put some information down in the uh, comments below and uh, let me know what you're interested in seeing. We'll just see what we can find. Um, should be trying to hit the quail and uh, just general stuff on Saturday as well. Um, we'll see. Don't currently have Concorso tickets because if you're one or the other, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so just been cleaning out the inside, vacuuming, and wiping it down. It has beautiful, lovely smells of uh, leather cleaner, conditioner, which is nice. And, uh, you know, the bigger stuff is going to be coming after car week, washing the car again, and actually it's time for an oil change and 30k miles. So I'm um, going to have to be doing spark plugs, and uh, I might try to do the fuel filters as well myself we will see um gonna start with the oil change and we'll find out how that goes <laughs> haven't been under under the car yet so should be interesting but uh yeah that's it well I may put some, if i start cleaning a little bit more i may uh, put some more video on here but uh there you go if not see you guys all in uh, monterey all right well as i threatened or promised i decided after all to start checking up the car through the front driver this is the front uh passenger and uh, the idea is to clean it get a little bit more cleaning done in here check out uh, calipers and I've had some suspension stuff so I'm kind of checking just to see if anything's loose like on one of the tie rods or anything and uh, the main thing is to like <laughs> clean this out because yeah that's filthy as you can tell on the inside and the other one you know gooby gone and everything and it looked pretty good definitely not not new but uh, not as bad so we'll see We'll do a little before and after here. And I have to say, I feel like everything here is looking pretty good, even coming, you know, underneath. Um, CV boots look good. Oh my, the rod that, at least the earlier one of the, one of the times, I think this thing was actually backed off of one of these uh, when I brought it to the dealer for the first service and the clutch job. So that's all looking pretty spiffy. And I definitely seem to have fair bit of brake pad left. Oh, there's a little cracking on the great brake pad over there. Um, hmm. But beyond that, there's definitely still a fair bit of pad left, um, looks like to me. And, you know, not really much of a lip on the rotors, which is good, I guess. Pretty minimal, if anything. So I think we're good on that. Maybe I'll clean this, because that's how crazy I am. All right, so that's a little better. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many people clean their wheel well liners. I don't do it that often. Maybe for car week is basically what I'm doing. I haven't bothered to do the top, but yeah, just using uh, Ultimate Black McGuire's and uh, what a difference. But uh, that doesn't really matter, to be honest. The uh, main thing is this, which my previous wheel on the other side had a lot of tar as well, which there's definitely some in here. So we'll take a pass with just uh, some detailer spray and whatnot, and you'll see how this looks when I'm done. All right, well, there you go. A little bit of elbow grease. Definitely not perfect. These wheels really need to be refinished. Previous owner definitely uh, curb rashed them a fair bit, but uh, there you go. Some uh, much cleaner and a lot of the tar. I mean, there's still some sticky stuff from the tire weights that I didn't really bother because whatever, but uh, it's going to look much better. And that goes back on to here. Then I got two more left. And of course, now that I clean the inside of the front <laughs> passenger, I'm half tempted to do the driver's side, which I already put back on uh, and redo it, but we'll see how it looks when it's in. Maybe I won't bother. Ah, <sighs> labor of love. And there you go, 103 foot pound torque, which is uh, interestingly lower than the GT4 was, which is not surprising because GT4 is sort of crazy. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good now. I may have to do the other side other area but uh gonna go on to the next couple of wheels and uh that'll be it all right well rear wheels off 
and uh, more of the same. By the way, I was going to say, if you don't uh, ever take it off your wheels, you definitely want to get these guide rods, and I like these too because it really helps to uh, realign the wheel when you put the, go to put the wheel back on versus trying to hold it and get a bolt in there. So just buy these that work for Porsche for sure because I've been using those in my Porsches before and now Lamborghini, so works well. All right, more cleaning. All right, another inside done. So much better. These look, I mean, when I bought this car, <laughs> I don't think these things had been off or cleaned or anything. So this is quite a, quite a change, which is nice. And the other side, yeah, definitely these need to be refinished. Hey. Too many other uh, things. Hey. All right, here we go. Oh, this is the heavy one. Back bones are always the heavy ones. So, yeah, this is why the guides, the guide uh, will help. So now I can just, I like to do it like this. It's a little easier for me versus actually being on top of it. But there you go. And now I can just put the bolts in and... That's up. cool. Yeah. Michael's putting a tire on the car. There you go. Thanks to the new camera helper. He took... All to clean it for car week. To clean it for car week. I even cleaned the inside of the uh, wheel well liner, which I didn't do the front front driver, so I'll have to see if I go yeah. back to that. But, uh, you know. He's got a big one. Kind of crazy. He asked you if you had a floor jack. Oh, you're on the you're on the phone. I'm too. on the phone with Michael. This is probably gonna go on my YouTube channel, but that's nice. Uh, so he asked if he you had a floor right jack, and I said, "Do yeah. you have a big have a floor, floor jack, jack from what it looks little, like to me?" Yeah, no, it's a, it's a low profile. Just fits under the car compared to the compared to the GT4 and the Porsches. Yeah. This car is definitely lower. Right, well, I one more wheel to go, but it's time for a lunch yeah. break. So, time for lunch. But man, what a difference having the inside of the wheels actually be clean. <laughs> Sounds kind of stupid, but it's nice. All right, well, I have finished the last wheel and actually went back to the first one that I did and decided to do the liner inside. I will do some uh, tire shine on all these before I finish it off, but a little bit more of other stuff to do that I'll do probably tomorrow or another day, another morning. But that was a uh, <laughs> pretty good workout for me. It's been a while. And... Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'm curious who else is going to Car Week and uh, what you all want to see. Take care.